Another technology that's important to understand is Apache's Hive framework. And if you don't really want to write MapReduce code or write Python code or, or Java code, Hive is sort of a more of a, a database-centric model toward analyzing big data. So it still uses Hadoop under the hood, but lets you do things like issue things that look like SQL queries instead to analyze the data. So let's look at a real example of how that might work and give you sort of a high-level overview of what Hive is. So MapReduce is not the only thing that can run on Hadoop. Hadoop is, again, you know, sort of the infrastructure, the general purpose system for running distributed tasks along a cluster of computers. So there are other things you can run on it besides just MapReduce. One popular thing is Apache's Hive package, and it actually was created at, uh, at Facebook. And what it is is, you know, if you're not so comfortable with programming per se, but you are comfortable with SQL, SQL, you know, big databases like MySQL or Oracle or what have you, Hive is basically a data warehouse built on top of Hadoop and MapReduce. So it uses Hadoop's technology for distributing its storage for a very large data set. But instead of writing you know, code in Python like we did, you can actually issue SQL-like queries on that data by a language it calls QL. So think of it as a distributed relation, you know, distributed data warehouse. You know, instead of having a big giant monolithic database like you might have with a MySQL or Oracle instance, you can distribute the storage of that information using Hadoop and still query it in a very SQL-like manner using QL, using Hive. So Facebook found this useful in their situation. And it also lets you query things using MapReduce code as well. So you kind of have the, the best of both worlds there, if you will. And also Elastic MapReduce under, with Amazon can also work well with Hive. It actually will pre-install Hive for you when you run an EMR cluster. So even though it says MapReduce in the name of Elastic MapReduce, it's really just a Hadoop cluster with a bunch of stuff you can run on it, Hive being one of them, MapReduce being another. Let's look at a simple example here of a Hive application here. I'm just going to go through this real quickly because, again, I'm not here to teach you code. I just want you to introduce the, the concept of what Hive is and what it looks like. So very SQL-ish code here. We're creating a table, but the, the key here is that we're actually importing it in this example from our movie lens data set. We're saying that we have a bunch of rows that are t that are delimited by tab characters stored as plain text and we're going to extract them as a user id a movie id a rating and a timestamp sound familiar and we can just load that right into our table from the u.data file that we can give it through this load data local empath com command here so it looks a lot like sql here but what we're really doing here is setting up a mapper right under the hood now let's say that we want to transform that big ugly time stamp into something that's a little bit more human readable. So now that we have our data in an actual, something that looks like a table, we can do things that look very SQL-like. We can say select count star from u underscore data to get how many rows of information we have in that data. But let's do something more interesting. Let's say that we want to transform those, those timestamps into days of the week. So we can actually write a little Python script here that is used to transform that data and all it does is essentially remap our data from a Unix time and maps it to a weekday and outputs that as its output. So a little tiny Python script to transform our data. And using Hive, we can actually invoke that script as part of our QL language here. So again, we're going to create a new table, uData new, that's going to take a weekday instead of a timestamp. And we're going to add our little Python script into the mix here with add file weekday mapper.py. And then we're going to say we're going to put into our new data table this transform that uses our Python script to transform Unix times into weekdays from the uData table. And when we're done, all of our data from the uData table will be transformed into our uData new table. And we can then query the new weekday field instead of a timestamp down here. So it looks a lot like SQL has some hooks for doing some more complicated things with Python if you want to. Uh, but fundamentally, it is a distributed data warehouse built on top of Hadoop. So that is Hive for you in a nutshell. If you So that's Apache Hive. You know, if you're more familiar with SQL and you're more of a database person and less of a programmer, it might be a better fit for you. It basically takes, you know, the SQL environment that you're used to and magically turns it into a Hadoop job, a MapReduce job that does the right thing under the hood. So it could be a very powerful tool for you depending on your expertise. And that's Hive.